Hello again, everybody. Welcome back to another episode of Jeremy's Kitchen. All right, it is currently 7.41 in the morning. And believe it or not, I'm not making breakfast. No, you see, later today, my wife and I are invited to a friend of my wife's house for a uh, murder mystery party. That's going to be a lot of fun, but... um. They've been they asked to bring an appetizer. So I had to go all the way back to the archives of Jeremy's Kitchen to find one that I've wanted to do again for a while. And so today, we are going to make cheeseburger rolls. For this, we have the following ingredients. Ground beef, bacon, which I've diced up, breadcrumbs. Parmesan cheese, cheddar cheese, garlic powder, salt, pepper, two egg yolks. That's going to be used to seal up the pastry and, and to brush on top of it. Speaking of pastry, puff pastry, I need one sheet, and sesame seeds. Alright, so let's get started. So basically what we're going to do is I take our puff paste, our, um, the, we're going to take our ground beef, add the bacon into it, breadcrumbs, that should be plenty, sharp cheddar, And by the way, before you start, you need to preheat your oven to 350 degrees. So that's currently heating up. Parmesan. Now, this recipe does call for onions, or even onion powder if you want to, but I'm not going to use onion powder. I can omit that, because as you know, my wife cannot eat anything onion related. So I've got garlic powder. Salt. And black pepper. By the way, this recipe that I found came from a YouTube channel called Twisted, so I will provide a link for that in our in the description box. Hey, good morning. Pastry.
All right, so now we're gonna cut these in three pieces. Filling. Hmm. You want to roll it out as carefully as you can. Oh yeah. yeah. That'll work. Oven is heated up. Yep. I may be able to do two more. We're gonna say. I should have rolled this out a bit, but we'll see. Okay, so that should do. Let me get that all the way straight up there. Now, you're going to use your two egg yolks here, dip it into this brush, and uh, egg wash. Use it as an egg wash on one side, right here. Okay, so now we need to turn this around. I'm gonna roll it. Yeah. Mm hmm. Yeah. So you roll it just like that, pinch it closed. Just like that. <clears throat> and I have extra meat left over, so yeah, I'm gonna make another batch as well. Oh, this is working. All right. So 
now we're going to cut these up into little bite-sized pieces, just like that. Yeah. No worries, I can fix that. That'll be fun. Okay, so I still have more to cut up, but I might as well show you what we're gonna do next. Take the sheet pan. to take our two egg yolks, brush it on the top of our, our cheeseburger rolls, just like that, that, just like that. And then finally, Take your sesame seeds and sprinkle over the top. So now these will go into a 350 degree oven for 25 minutes. So I'm going to continue cutting the rest of them. Maybe I'll make a little bit more with the leftover meat that I have. And then I will show you what they all look like at the end. We'll be right back. Okay guys, we're back. We currently have one minute and seven seconds until we get to pull out our cheeseburger rolls. So just to update you, I was able to do two more rolls with the leftover meat that I had. So I have two trays. Not, well, yeah. One tray is full, one tray is not so full, but we got two trays of cheeseburger rolls in there, hence two quarts. So, let me get out my, uh, get out my oven mitts. <clears throat> 30 seconds to go. So what's going to happen is I'm going to take them, bring them out here, let you see them. I'm going to let them cool, then I will put them all into this container. I will try one of them for you. That's my coffee pot. 15 seconds to go. 10 seconds to go. 5 seconds. 3, 2, 1. So one of them looked less done than the other, than these, so I can put those in for another five minutes and I will keep my eye on them. But for now, come over here, take a look at our cheeseburger rolls. Oh. 
Okay, guys, as I just said, I'm going to let these cool. I'll also be keeping my eye on the other one that's in the micro in the oven. So we're gonna let those cool. We're gonna transfer them over into this container. And I will then try one of them for you guys. We'll be right back. Okay, guys, we're back. I have successfully pulled our other rolls out of the oven. They've all cooled down a bit, and they are now in, safely inside of our container. So, take a look at our cheeseburger rolls. Wow. All right, let me put you guys down for one second. And this one is calling to me. Let's straighten these out a bit. Cheers. <clears throat> Perfectly cooked. Tastes like a bacon cheeseburger. guys this was our cheeseburger roll video if you like this video please feel free to like share subscribe also be sure to leave a comment down below until next time this is jeremy saying bon appetit